So what happens if I start with a blank list? Days of the week. Let's imagine that I started with it being just square brackets. An empty list. Or even if it was not and we just magically invented new days of the week, uh, like fun day, uh, where, you know, it's after Friday, but not quite the weekend, or maybe it's a third day of the weekend, whatever. But either way, I want to add elements to a list. That is where we would utilize the dot operator and the append function. And specifically that append function would start to tell us, hey, you know, that's the element that I want to add, and it will be added to the next available spot inside of my index. And so again, we would continue to add through. So as we add more and more elements in, so if I added Monday and I did all of them up until uh, Saturday, same kind of concept would come into play. So let's just see that in action. So for my, my sake, I'm going to uh, generate some random numbers so that we're at least seeing some uh, examples going on here. So uh, let's see. So um, iterations will say I want to generate 10 random numbers. Uh, numbers will start out as a blank list again. So I, I, I want to add to this numbers list as I traverse. So I'm going to start utilizing some of the different terms that we've kind of worked with uh, so far. Uh, so the for loop, for i in range iterations. Now again, range is going to give me a range of numbers from zero to some number that's passed inside of it. So in this case, iterations is 10. So generate a range of numbers uh, from zero to 10. Just to once again, see that in action, print I, we get you know 10 numbers. Okay, we're not gonna use the I, but it's good to you know have a quick way of doing something 10 times. So now what we're going to uh, pass there. Now what we're going to do is instead of pass, I'm going to generate a random number. Random num is going to be random dot rand int uh, one to one hundred. Just some random number from one to one hundred. Again, we can use the print statement to confirm that we are generating 10 random numbers. Those look random enough for me. And wouldn't you know it, random number, random set of numbers, oh. Random numbers, random numbers, random numbers, awesome. Okay, so again, we've generated random numbers. Now, let's change that. Instead of it just printing out those random numbers, numbers.append my random num now we don't get any print statement that's perfectly fine again there is no print statement here but after running through that uh for loop i should now have random numbers and those random numbers aren't going to change they're always going to be the same random numbers until i run through and reset my code but again this is again the big point I'm getting at it is this is how I can append numbers to a list.